All right, well, this is a tutorial on how to change the bulb on our projector. Our projector is a Titan a 1080p 800 by Digital Projection. It's a really straightforward uh, process, so I'm going to try and give you a step-by-step -step on how to change it here. Uh, so what we're looking at is the back of our current projector. Um, if you'll notice here, there are four screws that need to be tightened. All of the screws that we're undoing today until you get to the housing uh, have a, a capture mechanism on them. So you just undo them until they come loose and then it'll pop off. And here is what you'll see. Uh, it's a little closer view of the area and you can see the four screws are right there. Again, I just want to emphasize to just undo them until you feel them give. Uh, once you do that, the screws will stay with the plate. You just pop it off then. So this is the inside once you take that plate off. Now the plate has the two fans for the bulbs that are attached to it, and there's a little safety cable. Uh, I just flipped it up onto the top of the projector housing, and it was fairly secure up there. We just need to get it off the way. We don't actually need to take it off in order to complete the installation. This is what you see when you look inside of that cavity there. You'll see the two projector bulbs are facing each other in opposite directions. You're going to take these six screws out. Now again, they're like the other ones in that they're captive screws. So you just need to undo them enough to get them loose, uh, but not necessarily take them off of the plate. Uh, once you do, you'll unplug both of those bulbs and uh, it comes, the whole housing comes apart. So you just pull one at a time, take three screws out, pull it out, and you'll see that it looks something like this. There's a cavity where the bulb was. You take that out, uh, once you get both out, you go to your workbench. Okay, I'm here uh, sitting down about to replace the bulbs. As you saw in the pictures that, uh, that I included, I just took the back plate off of the uh, projector. And then once I got the fans removed, you unscrew uh, these three metal screws, these silver looking screws, and they only unscrew about halfway. They have a little retainer on them, so they'll stay put. Uh, so keep those in there. Uh, looks like the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the connectors for the lamp. Uh, always wear gloves, that way you don't touch directly onto the lamp. Uh, leave some nasty oils that can catch fire. Um, so first thing we're going to do is, is disconnect this side connector here. This is what actually fires the lamp. And then I'm going to connect, disconnect uh, this lower connector here on the lower side of the bulb. Okay, just walk it out. Same thing on this side. Just going to pop it out. There you go. On the bottom, we're gonna take these two black screws that are marked out. It's going to release our bulb from the housing. comes off the housing. Okay. Let's free the bulb from this metal housing here. And what I'm gonna do this time is I think I'm just gonna take this one big metal clip off. If I do that, I think that it'll let me kind of walk it out without having to undo all of them. So, there's the metal part. There's a little retaining clip in there too. Okay, so there's a little retaining clip. There's the metal piece that holds the bulb in place and our little screw right next to each other. So with that, let's see. Let me just loosen these other ones up. So I loosen it up, and there's the bulb, separate from the housing. Okay, let's get bulb number two, and we're just gonna go right in and do the opposite effect, okay? So. So 
So I've gone in and just kind of slid it under this these two metal clips here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna lock them down. Index, indexing holes, that's what they're called. They, they both have indexing holes that really allows them to, uh, to be supported here. Okay. Now we're gonna take number three. This is a little harder to get to because it's in the corner here. So I'm just gonna place it with a <clears throat> little pair of pliers. Making sure that the ridge faces down it may not make any sense, but you'll see when you put them on. There we go. Okay, so bulb is nice and secure in the housing. The first metal surround. Now let's attach it to our housing here. So we're going to attach it like so. So here's our little indexing nubs. And so we're going to put those in our hole on the housing. Okay, make sure they're lined up, which is going to allow us to put these black screws back in. And it should let us just screw it back in. doing this screwdriver is slightly magnetic so it'll hold our screw at the end there just line it up make sure that it's on there straight and there it is that's all there's to it okay so now the bulb is in the metal surround it's on there nice and secure all right now all we have to do is put back our connectors so connector number one Just make sure that that's in there okay so that lower connector place where it should and the upper connector we're just going to connect to this bulb a little snap that's it all done bulbs are replaced old ones are out new ones are in and we'll just plug it right back into the projector tighten down our little retaining screws and we'll be done